Do you ever wish that you could hold your shot for just like a little bit longer? Maybe you don't have a slow motion camera or maybe you just have like a really good shot and you don't have the capabilities to shoot it in super slow motion. Either way, let's discuss how we can turn this footage into smooth, beautiful slow motion for free Wow. in Adobe Premiere. You know, as good as cameras are nowadays, it's still not very common to be able to shoot at 1,000 frames per second or even 240 frames per second, unless you're shooting on an action cam or you're willing to spend like tens of thousands of dollars on a camera specifically made to shoot slow motion. Now, I don't know about you, but I do not have that budget right now. Smash that subscribe button. This camera doesn't shoot 4K slow motion. And sometimes you forget to change the frame rate when you go to get the shot. And then you look at it after and you're like, oh man, I really wish I could slow that down. So my friend introduced me to this effect a couple of months ago and it was just one of those like, aha moments, you know, just you're so happy. And then you also realize like, I just spent like the last two or three years not knowing about this and all of my other footage could have been slowed down and looked a little better. But we have it now and that's what's important. We're moving forward. Let's hop into Adobe Premiere Pro. So here's a few shots of a sailboat that we took out for our project with DJI. I can't tell you too much about that. It's coming out in two weeks, so just hold on. To get this slow motion effect, all we have to do is hit Command R like usual. We'll put it down to 50% and we will hit OK. Beautiful. Now you might think I'm trolling you, this time I'm not. We might have just missed one little detail there. Now as you can see, this shot is only 24 frames per second, so it shouldn't be possible to bring this to 50%. The difference between this scenario and, you know, 99% of the time that I have retimed a clip is this tab right here. The standard is to have it at frame sampling, that's typically how it opens up when you hit command R. All we have to do is click this button and it changes everything. Boom, we are done. Close YouTube, control alt delete, high five everybody you know, throw your computer out the window. This is it. We learned it. It was that fast. It was that freaking, it was that simple. Can you believe it? This whole time it was just like smiling in our faces and we just like, you know, we just weren't curious enough to click that button. Don't throw your computer out the window. We did figure it out, but there's still a lot more detail in this effect. So just keep watching this video. Don't get too crazy excited. Now let's try this effect with a clip that is 60 frames per second. As you can see, we are in a 24 frame per second timeline, which means we can bring it down to 40% naturally without getting any sort of issue. See, plays out perfectly fine and smooth. But if we apply the same logic and push it an extra 50% down to 20, we get the horrific frame drop effect. But as soon as we switch this over to optical flow again and render it out, it's smooth. Like, this is absolutely unbelievable. This is five times slow motion. You know, it shouldn't be able to do this. As you can see, it looks so good. And I, I know you're thinking like, maybe it's just Rohan and it probably is like, look at those eyes. But let's give Premiere just like a little bit of credit on this one. Let's push this clip down to 10% and see how it performs. Wow. Let's get a little bit crazy now. Let's go completely mad and push it to 5%. Look at this, this is insane, 5%. This should only go down to 40%. This is absolutely insane. Now I must warn you, this is not always going to work 100% of the time. I will not give you your money back. There's no money back guarantee on this one. But let me give you some tips to give you the very best odds and chance of success. The base frame rate of your shot. I know this one's a little bit obvious, but the higher frame rate has a better chance of success. So we have a 60 frame per second clip here and that's why we can push it down to 5%. If we go back to our 24 frame per second clip, you know, we can still push this one a little bit more, but because it has less frames to work with, it can only emulate so much. The lighting in your shot. Stabilization tools are based around what they can see and analyze in the frame. Trying to stabilize in low light with a bunch of grain is really difficult because there's a lot of flickering and confusion of your background. In this shot, we have a pretty still background. It's just trees, there's no breeze, so there's no hair moving. 
there's no trees or leaves moving, which allows optical flow to perform best. It is important to have a little bit of consistency and structure in your background. Here's an example of a frame that might not work so well. So typically this shot looks fine. But if we want to use optical flow and we want to slow it down a bit more, we have an issue due to the amount of movement in the frame. As you can see, there's some ghosting. The final thing to consider is the motion of the shot. So as you can tell in this first shot, the drone is not moving, which allows the program to work a lot more effectively. In these other two shots, it's the same boat, same scene, but there's movement in the frame that becomes confusing to the program, and in these high contrast areas, you can see it starting to ghost. And there you go! I think that was one of our fastest videos yet, I am so proud of us. We we didn't talk too much, right? Right? Bam! That's it. I hope you feel as good as I did when I first learned about this. This could definitely be a game changer for you. If this was helpful, smash that subscribe button. Like, smash that real hard. We're giving these videos out for free, man. We are posting these every week for free. All you have to do is click that button. Support me. I'm hungry. I'm trying to eat. Subscribe if you don't want your premiere to crash for the next thousand years. And yeah, thanks for watching. We're doing a bunch of videos on these little effects that make a big difference. So check out some of those if you want to learn more. And I'm just going to play a couple examples at the end of this video. So uh, let's just watch Optical Flow do its magic. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you. Um, what are we doing next week? Next tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to eat fire. <laughs>